What's up everybody, it's time now for another playing card unboxing and today we're looking at the first Hollow Edition. So these are the first Hollow Edition by Chris Ramsey and they are printed by USPCC. They're printed on holographic foil slash metal looks. They're on a crush stock and it's got a magic finish. There's 56 playing cards in total. There's a blank card, two identical jokers and also a duplicate four spades. All got standard faces, so let's get into it. So how much are they? On First Up Shop, they are $20. So if you're in the, the regions which the First Up Shop ship to, then that's great. If not, if you're in the UK like myself, you'll have to go to a different website. So I got mine from The Cardian. So thanks again for James for sorting us out. And on the Cardian website, they are $25. Found. So let's get it in the unboxing and have a look at the cards. So these are the cards here and you can see there's a really nice holographic effect on the front so when it's changing the light you can see all the different colours from the, the hollow. Let's get these cracked open. So the tuck case has got a really a cardboard feel to it rather than a shiny finish. The hollow is shiny on it and it goes all the way around the deck. So see here's the front. Go around to the side which is plain apart from the hollow there. On the back it's the same. So it's a really plain deck with the, the hollow going across and the side the same as well. On the top, there's nothing on there. And then on the bottom, it's got First Playing Card Company by Chris Ramsey. So that's the tuck case and we'll get this opened up. On the top of the tuck case, got the Chris Ramsey logo. And as you can see, I made some joggers just for the occasion with the Chris Ramsey logo on. Obviously that's the top of the tuck case and on the inside, it has the first logo with the hollow. It looks really nice that in the light when you uh, when you change that in the light, the different direction and changes all the different colors. We've got the cards out. So as you can see on the inside of the box, the first logo continues all of the way in, in the hollow. So let's look at the back of the cards and they're very similar to the, the other first cards. However, they've got the nice hollow option on the, the first there. So again, they've got the Chris Ramsey the logo in the middle of the deck and first on the corners so when you spread the cards out as well you have that really really nice gold border going along all of the cards as well so the cards come in a stacked order as well which is really good so if you want to perform a trick with the mnemonica stack then you can open up a fresh deck of cards and those cards are already in stack so you can perform tricks with that so here you get the two identical jokers again they've got the hollow on the first bit there so when you change them in the light you can see it's shining over then onto the blank card. So blank card with nothing on, standard back on there, and also a duplicate four of spades. So as the ace of spades has the first logo on it. However, on mine, it just looks like it says ISI rather than first. So I don't know if that's a printing issue or something like that, but as you can see, it looks a bit funny on there. And you have all the standard faces and the bright colored reds that USPCC use. So see six diamonds, four hearts, three clubs, Seven, two, four, nine. So there, there's the Ace of Hearts, just a standard face as well for the Ace of Hearts. And through, so there's the Queen of Spades as well, and again, just standard faces. It's the Queen of Diamonds. Jack of Spades. There's the Ace of Clubs. Ace of Diamonds. Again, all just standard faces. There's a Jack of Clubs. King of Hearts. Jack of Diamonds. The King of Spades, here's the King of Diamonds, there is the Jack of Hearts, King of Clubs, Queen of Clubs, Queen of Hearts. So now on to how the handle. And as per usual, as any USPCC deck, you know exactly what you're going to get. You know how well they're going to handle. So 
So apart from this uh, Ace of Spades, which I'm not sure if it's just mine or whether there's a, a printing issue or everyone's is the same, it just looks a bit weird on it. Like from a distance, you can't really tell what it is. But apart from that, the, the deck handle's really good and it's a really good deck. So again, it's another one to add to the collection of the Chris Romdy decks. And what the plan is in the near future is I'm going to be recording a video, so I'm going to get all of the Chris Romdy decks, put them next to each other, have a look through them all, compare all the differences and show the difference between like the V1, V2, V3, etc. and stuff like that. So if you're interested in that, let me know. And again, up here, there's a video that I did for the Vectec escape room, which is Chris Romsey's escape room. So if you're interested in that, check the video out. Until next time, see ya.